Hello everyone, I'm Vivian from uh, Privacy and Scaling Exploration Team and today I'm going to talk about how to hack on the ZK project. Yeah, and this is the slides. Uh, this, uh, there's a link and then the first link is the slides so you can see the examples and links in, in, inside. Yeah, so the uh, PSE provides a, a price. So I'm going to introduce a little bit. Uh, so we provide five, uh, 5K and we, we will choose four projects. And you can, these four projects can choose either uh, uh, three of these projects. And first one is Semaphore. And then second one is Unirep. And uh, the last one is it. E to E Z K E C D S A, and I will going to introduce these three projects later. Yeah, so you can choose one of them to to hack. Yeah, and I will introduce a little bit about the K, really short. So, uh, here's an example. How, so how we verify a transaction is correct. So, uh, for so uh, how how we verify that the uh, x uh this this equation is correct then we provide a uh, plain text x so the miner and others can verify oh you know uh the the x of this equation yeah so what zk does is that we provide a proof and then you don't know what is the equation and then on chain, it just verify a proof and then tell, tells you if it is correct or not. So it is the ZK do on, uh, on chain. Yeah. If you want to know more about zero knowledge, you can go to the Ethereum uh, website and there's a zero knowledge proof page. And then uh, zero X park is also uh, provide some materials for you to learn about ZK. Yeah, so I'm going to introduce the first project called Semaphore. And Semaphore is in uh, like an identity system and then you can generate a, a identity and then you can generate a membership pool of this of, of a group. And then also you can uh, include a signal in the proof to, uh, such as to vote or endorsement, some some uh, information in the it, in this proof. And there's a Semaphore website, and then you can uh, uh, getting started easier in in this website. Yeah. So what Semaphore can do is something like you can prove that you. Uh, you are a member of one uh, of a group and then you don't reveal who you are. And like I said, uh, you can endorse a, a signal. So you can include a signal in this proof to prove that uh, I, I want to say something. Oops. Oh, no. Okay. Like, like voting or whistleblowing. Yeah, so I will provide some example codes here, like how, how you generate an uh, random identity. So you, you install the semaphore identity uh, package, and then you use a new identity function to create identity. And there are several uh, secrets and uh, pub or public signals in this identities. They, they are called trapdoor nullifier and commitment and you, you can go to the documentation to see the definition of this different uh different terms yeah so this is basically how you create a, a identity yeah and then you can add 
add your your identity to a group, and then you install a package called uh, Semaphore Protocol Group, and then you can create a group with index one, and then you add a member in this group uh, with the add member function. Yeah, and then how you generate a zk proof, and you you install the a package called uh, semaphore protocol proof, and then there is a general generate proof function inside, and then you you can um, generate a external nullifier and signal in your proof. An external nullifier is used to prevent your action being doing twice. For example, you, if you want to vote an event, and then the external nullifier is the name of the event, like the topic. And then your signal is your vote, like you vote one or two or three or something like that. So the uh, signal can be, uh, can can happen many times, but the external nullifier, it can only happen once. Yeah, so you, you include this information in your proof and then uh, code it with the generate proof function And there's a verify proof function as well. So you provide the proof and then the group dips. And then the, uh, the group dips is the Merkle tree dips. So, and then uh, I think it's provided in the, in the group, uh, group object. So you can just use the group dips, dips. And also, Semaphore provides a CLI to install the package easier. So you install the CLI, and then you can uh, use Semaphore create and your project directory to create your your project. And if you want to explore this command, you use the Semaphore. Uh, dash dash help to help you understand these commands. Yeah, if you want to learn more about Semaphore, you can use the demo app or go to their Discord to ask them questions. And then the, uh, we are also in the uh, first floor, so you can uh, find us and then ask us about uh, if, if you have questions. Yeah, and there are documentation. So the second project is called Unirep. So Unirep is a private and, and non-reputable data system. And it is also an, uh, provides an anonymous to, to users. But in the same time, the user can prove how much, how much data they have. And then if you uh, you can go to this uh, unirep.io to see the document. Yeah, so what it's used for, you can use it for the reputation or data application. For example, you have GitHub and then you want to prove that you have how many stars in GitHub and how many followers in, in GitHub. You can uh, use this uh, protocol. So you turn the web to data to Web3 and then you can generate a zero knowledge proof to prove, oh, I have, I have such amount of stars in GitHub. Yeah, and, and also you can prove the uh, membership of, oh, I'm a, a, a user of GitHub, something like that. Yeah, and there are some example application that built uh, by our uh, collaborators. So the first one is uh, trust list. So uh, you can it's a uh, you can sell product product and then you, you choose which uh, which buyers you you want to trans uh, transaction with. Yeah, and the users are anonymous. And then the second one is what I said. You you can uh, bridge your web two reputation to web three. Yeah, and then the third uh, uh, example is a uh, uh, social media. So 
uh, we can build a, an anonymous social media and then other people can upload or download a post. And then if you are not able to generate a positive proof in the future, you are not able to uh, post in the in this anonymous social media. Yeah, so it can help to uh, uh, manage the, uh, an anonymous social media in Web3. Yeah, and then the last example is uh, Voltason. So it is a vote, like uh, a voting system, but it's different from Semaphore is that in the end of the hack zone, you, you, you finish the proof, uh, you fin we, people finish voting, and then you can prove that how much votes I have. Yeah, it is uh, uh, a little bit different from uh, Semaphore. Yeah, so to install this package, you use the npm install uh, unirep core. And there are the file of the following example codes. Yeah, because they are pretty much, oh, sorry. <laughs> So uh, the, the first uh, the example here is that if we want to deploy a Uniwrap contract, we, we use the deploy Uniwrap from the uh, contract package. And then you just connect your wallet and then uh, call the deploy Uniwrap smart contract. Yeah. And if you want to connect to a deployed Uniwrap contract, you provide an address and then your uh, the provider or your wallet and then you can connect to a, a deployed uh, smart contract. Yeah, and then the protocol is uh, like this floor. So the users are uh, just providing proof to the attesters and then the attester or relayer will submit the proof to smart contract to verify this proofs. And then the users can uh, see the data on the smart contract and then know how which data is my uh, uh, which is my my data and then you, you can generate a, a valid proof to prove them. Yeah. So uh, so the attester here, is like an application, and then you set up rules for the data how 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 user can 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 get data. Like for example, the the GitHub GitHub is an attester, and then uh, the developers are users in this application, and then the, the GitHub will manage how user get uh received stars or followers and something like that. Yeah, so the the attester is pretty much like a and an application and set up rules for users. Yeah, so uh, you can sign up an attester with the, a, a wallet. Uh, here's a, a wallet e example. So you call the uh, smart contract and then call the function attester sign up and provide an epoch length. Yeah, and you can go to the document to see the, the definition of like epoch or epoch key. Yeah. And then there's another way to sign up and a tester is use a small contract. So you, you yeah, you, you can call the uh, Unirep on chain with, with the small contract. Yeah. So if I am a, a, a user of this application, you can generate uh, so how how to sign up a user? So user can generate a semaphore identity here, and then create uh, synchronize all the on chain state with the uh, user state uh, class. So you provide a prover. It is a uh, uh, used in a, a circuit. It help you to provide a zero knowledge proof, and then the, you you provide the Uniwrap address contract address, and then you provide a provider, and then your semaphore identity. And then you should 
you use the uh, start and wait for sync to uh, start syncing the whole uh, event happens in Unirep contract. And then you can generate a sign up proof with a gen user sign up proof function. And if you want to uh, return and, and you, you just call the users, user state stop or it will keep syncing, synchronizing all the states. Yeah. And when user generate this proof in client, the user can, should uh, submit this proof to the attester or application itself. And then to call the attester, only the attester can call the Unirep contract to send the proofs on chain and then the update the Unirep uh, smart contract state. Yeah, and how users receive attestations or data or reputation, uh, the user should generate a temporary identity called EPA key. So you can imagine that you, you have a, a list of uh, wallet accounts and uh, people cannot link all these accounts to you. But uh, so but in, in example for, uh, in, in Unirep, you can generate uh, a set of uh, EPA keys and then you can prove that all these this assets is yours. Yeah. So Epoch is one of these like address, but, but it only lasts for a, a, an Epoch. And Epoch can be like one day or seven days or one week or something like that. Yeah. So if you, the, the Epoch is too short, you're not able to use this epoch key for a long time, but if epoch is too long, you are, uh, you should wait, uh, you should use the same identity for a long time. Yeah. So this is how it generate a temporary identity called epoch key. Yeah. And the attester, when the attester see this epoch key, he, he can send data or attestation to this epoch key. Yeah, so in this uh, example, um, uh, the, the attester send the index zero, data index zero to five. Yeah, because we provide, uh, for example, six data lens, so you can change six of, uh, six of them yeah, but uh, uh, this in this example is that we, if we define uh, field index zero is the uh, GitHub stars, so if and and it increased by five, so you you give the index zero uh, index zero to five. Yeah, it is how. Uh, if you don't want want to know more about data, you can go to the documentation to see how data is defined. Yeah, and when an epoch ends, we the user should call a user state transition to receive all the data to uh, the, the user itself. So after user state transition, the user can prove how much data he has. Yeah, so here's an example to generate a user state transition proof. And also the user should submit this proof and then it can be submit by a read layer. So yeah, I use the uh, signer here, but not read layer. Yeah, and after user say transition, the user can generate a proof to prove uh, how much data he has. For example, if the user have, has have five, and then he can prove that, oh, I have at least three. Yeah, so you don't have to review all your your assets or amounts of data, and that but you can generate a valid proof to prove oh you are in a certain range of data. Yeah, and then you can also build a, a tester with the CLI is more easier, and this con this CLI uh, will provide a uh, a uh, circuits and contracts and relayer and front end. So you can start the app by 
uh, yarn build and with hard hat node and then deploy your smart contracts and then you can start the relayer and front end client. Yeah, so the last project is called E2E ZK EC DSA. So it's, it's a private EC DSA signature verification. So you prove the ownership of Ethereum address. Yeah, so the problem with the previous example is that you, you have to generate a new identity secret, but it is really hard to manage uh, many different secrets. So uh, this, use, this example is that you can use your wallet to generate a, a proof so you don't have to manage a, a new secret. Yes, and then you can use the uh, ZK ECDSA for uh, a verifier contract so that your your contract can can still verify assets but you uh but but with uh zk zk proof and then you can use for an anonymous airdrop yeah or a discord verification bot yeah uh i'm really not familiar with this project so please go to the website to check how uh how it can be used yeah so this the also an example code here yeah <laughs> yeah and there is a demo app so you can prove your assets with your wallet uh is in this link yeah so we have these three projects and yeah 5k bounties so if you are interested in one of these projects please uh uh hack it <laughs> yeah so oh if you have more further questions you can go to the psc discord now there are many peoples there to answer questions for for people yeah and thank you